All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to develop the slide technique. Now, if you're not sure what the slide technique is, it is a way of getting two strokes at a very fast tempo. It is utilized in beats, it is utilized in fills, it is absolutely essential in my opinion to learn. Um, there's actually another technique called the heel toe which Jared teaches in a couple other videos and if that seems like it's more up your alley then go check that out. This is a technique that is normally played by drummers who play heel up and I'm a heel up drummer uh, meaning that my heels never usually rest on the pedal and I'm always using the ball of my foot or almost like the toe to play my bass drum. This is why the slide technique is perfect for me. So if you're a heels up drummer and you want to learn how to get some really cool speed with the single pedal, check this technique out. So how I developed the slide technique is actually, I didn't even know what the slide technique was when I was starting the drums. I was wanting to play a lot of Blink-182 and, and Sum 41, all those poppy punk kind of songs and I would get to these tempos where I couldn't keep up with the drummer. And because I'm a heel up player, my foot was going as fast as it could. You can't play 16 notes, little doubles like that with just any kind of technique. You have to develop one of these, either the heel toe or the slide. So I didn't know that, so what I would do is I would actually bring my foot down on the footboard a bit because I was noticing that it would take less work to get a stroke by playing halfway down the pedal. So what I would do is I would try to see how fast I can play two strokes like that. And it was actually a lot of work. I mean, it was, it was less work than playing at the top of the footboard, but it was still a lot of work. I'll show you what I was doing. Now, as you can see in that example, my whole leg was actually coming up, my ankle and my foot was coming up, and it was hitting twice. And for really fast speeds, that was a lot of work, it was tiring, and it just didn't seem efficient to me. So what I would do is I would realize that as the footboard was coming up after the second hit, if I pushed my foot up to the top of the footboard, I would catch the pedal while it's coming up, giving it almost a, a, a response that I can push down really easily and get a second stroke. And I would start doing this, and it, it would take me a bit of time to start building up the speed. But once I did, I realized that it wasn't two strokes anymore, it was almost like a solid motion. And my leg was only doing one lift rather than two, like I was doing before. So I kept developing it, I kept practicing it in these songs, and I realized that this is something that you can start controlling with different tempos, and this is something that my body naturally started to do once I hit a certain speed. I figured out about maybe two years later that it was called the slide technique, and people have been doing it for quite a while. Now, it took me my own thought process and my own trial and error to figure it out myself. So, I mean, the fact that you guys can, can, can learn something sooner than later is a huge benefit to you. So let me show you how to develop this exercise and develop this technique so you can start applying it in your beats and fills. So first, you saw how I started in the middle of the pedal and how I ended at the top of the pedal. Try that for the first couple times. I mean, don't have to go too fast, but just get one stroke in the middle of the pedal and get your second stroke with your foot at the top of the footboard. So watch this. So just practice that at first, because what you're going to realize is that once you start doing it, you're going to feel this push on the pedal that you can see if you look at my knee and you look at the, the angle that my actual knee is, it just moves a little bit. And my leg doesn't move that much at all. Whereas before I was lifting my leg to get two strokes, now you can see it stays almost in the same height and it's just the angle of my knee and my foot moving up. Watch it again. Now when you pick that up to speed, you're going to notice that both notes are going to sound very identical. When you're playing it slow, you can kind of hear the second note isn't as loud. That's just because I'm demonstrating it right now. Once you actually pick it up, start playing it in music, start playing it with the right amount of energy, you're going to notice that both notes sound very similar. This is very, very important because I've seen drummers play different techniques that you can hear one of the notes a little bit softer than the other one. 
With the slide technique, I find because you're a heel up drummer and because you have the power of your full leg and you're utilizing the footboard correctly, it actually has a great power to both strokes rather than just one. 